What's up guys? Today we are going to be fixing this oil ring thing so I can finally start driving the G35, get the exhaust put on or the new muffler put on and all that good stuff because right now I can't drive the car because it leaks oil and I want to take care of that before I do anything. So well, let me show you guys the parts. Alright guys, to fix this oil um, leak, this is a pretty common leak. Um, for G35s or any Z's v with a VQ motor. Um, basically, if you look under the car where your oil filter is, there's an oil cooler like sandwich plate in between all that stuff. It leaks because the um, rubber seal basically is degrading and it just starts leaking. Um, another thing, just so you guys know, if you got over 100,000 miles, which I'm pretty sure every Z VQ, any VQ, it's probably at over 100,000 miles. You'll probably have leaky head gasket seals on both sides. Easy, just, um, they might not be too bad, it might be bad. This one's actually not too bad, so I have some time before I have to change it, but I can see there's some oil leaking when I was changing out the um, um, camshaft position sensors. Uh, so yeah. All right, so yeah, that's what you need. Obviously, you're gonna need some more oil. Um, I recently changed the oil on this thing <sighs> before when then I didn't. I saw the oil leak. I didn't do anything about it then, which was before I even started driving. So I haven't really driven the car since I changed the oil last time. Um, I would drain it, but I don't have a clean pan to drain it and then pour it back in the motor. So I just bought some new stuff and that stuff can go. I'll, I'm gonna still use the oil filter that I have. I think I should change it, but um, uh, whatever, I'm not gonna spend another $15 for a new oil filter. Should be fine. All right, let's jack up the car. All right, there it goes, up in the air, at least the front end at least. Uh, it looks like this tire is really low, so I need to um, put some air in it. So I had a piece of cardboard under here so you guys can see. Look at that. That's just oil soaked. That. So it's been, it's just constantly leaking oil. Alright, um, yeah, I'll show you guys what it looks like underneath. So it's leaking oil pretty badly, um, which is more than it probably should. It's unusual. Anyways, uh, this is going to come off. I'm going to take this off right now, so. Alright, I got it off. Nice. Those snaps really do come in handy with making things go quickly. <laughs> All right, so let's take a look at all this oil. I got a lot of grime. I, I wish I could clean that up. Let's uh, move this oil. Let's put this light. Give me some better light. Nice, as you can see, how it's pulling up and stuff. Yeah, right there. Just great. All right, let me go get a, uh, I believe it's a 11? No. 14? I don't know. I need to go. I'm gonna unloose this drain plug right now and then uh, we'll take the oil filter off and then we'll go from there. So, all right, let's see if I don't get any oil on me. Not too bad. Oh, waiting for this oil to drain is taking forever. I really need it to go faster. So let's try the snap trick. Boom. What, what the? This is not what I wanted. Oh well. All right, guys. Who do you guys got making it to the Super Bowl? Uh, right now, the Cowboys caught that L earlier today. And uh, the Eagles are up on the Saints 14-0. to And second quarter starting, so... Wait, was it today? No, sorry. Cowboys lost last night. The Patriots won this morning. So, I got the Patriots going to the Super Bowl. Um, I'm a Patriots fan. Everyone's going to hate me. It's okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, tell me who you guys have to be going to the Super Bowl. Alright, back to the car. Hopefully the oil's all drained out and it's ready. Alright, oil's pretty much drained. This is just dripping a little bit. So, what I'm going to do right now is I'm gonna move the clamps off these and then that bolt right there to take the oil cooler um, is a 22 uh, millimeter socket so 
I'm gonna do that. I already broke it loose, if anybody's wondering. <laughs> All right, here's the old one that I pulled out. Focus. Um, and I'm gonna go put the new one in. I wonder, why is it? It just looks a little bit bigger. It looks like this just shrank over time. So there's no cracks or anything on it. So I'm gonna go with it just shrank over time. All right, let's put this other one in and then I can bolt everything back up show you guys i put it in i put it back in i just want to let you guys see what it looks like see there's the black there's the new one oil ring already in there this and that's all you gotta do just seat it back in um and then put the 22 bolt back and then that's it and we're good to go we can fill the oil back up um like i guess yeah we just put the oil back in and we're good actually before i do that i wanted to show you guys this is the bolt that holds that oil cooler on and where your oil filter bolts onto. Look how grimy this looks. Um, so I'm gonna clean this off before I throw this back in. All right, all cleaned up, easy. Uh, remind you guys, don't over tighten this when you throw this in there. Uh, it's going into the block and you don't want to cross thread or screw this up in any way when you're putting this thing back in. So be careful. Bolt it back up, let's start pouring the motor oil. Yeah, whatever. Drink up, drink up, drink up, drink up. All right, all is done, so let's check to see if there's any leaks. Ugh, I should start it, actually, to see. But so far, everything's looking good. I'm gonna start it up and we can, uh, again, double check to see if there's any leaks. Leaks. Like it. That might be the residue oil from all around. Let me wipe it off and see. Okay, we're good. Soft the issue, guys. All right, wrapping things up here. I already took the undershield back on. I forgot I could have used the snap and it would have worked faster, but oh well. Um, yep, got the oil there. Whatever, that should be good to go. So now I need to drop the car back down. I'm gonna turn the air compressor back on so I can feel that tire. So to make things go faster. All right, man, this is such a useful trick. Um, yeah. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you guys are having oil leak issues, that's definitely one of the first places to look, the oil cooler, or I think they call it, Nissan calls it oil warmer uh, sandwich plate. Um, if it's pulling up right there, it's that oil ring, or it's that, uh, that ring. Um, you just gotta replace it. It's like $10 from Nissan or Infinity. Um, just go get it, screenshot the beginning for the part number, ask them for it. Um, and then do what I did, throw it in there. Do it whenever you gotta change the oil. That'd be perfect timing. Um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any questions about this, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. If you're first time watching this, subscribe guys. I got more. I'm gonna be doing G35 Z stuff all the time. It may not be crazy like the big YouTubers uh, builds are, but uh, I am doing stuff and slowly but surely uh, making my way through the Z and G. Um, all right guys, I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Ah, 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 ah.